Hi everybody and welcome to this short little video here on the channel to update you on a few things. Firstly, I hope you all did well in the Spring Major on the brand new Sierra Plateau course. What's coming up in this video? We're going to have a look at the Golden Shot. A couple of very quick examples to help you decide which hole you want to play. Obviously, it's the first time we've had Sierra Plateau in a tournament and in the game, so first time they'll be featured in the Golden Shot as well. Then we're going to take a look at the new ball that has gone on sale this morning, having a look at the stats for that one. We will give you an update on the next live stream with myself that is coming up later this week. More details soon. But first, before we bring you all of that, please make sure you hit the thumbs up and that you are subscribed to the channel. And let me take this opportunity to thank you all very much for everybody who has subscribed so far recently. As some of you noticed, we have made it to 20,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for your help and support. Right, let's have a look at these golden shots. The medium is going to be on hole number seven and the hard is going to be on that fiendishly difficult one from the tournament, hole number four. Usual prizes on this one, kingmakers for the medium, berserkers for the hard. And we're going to take a look at some examples now. Here is the medium golden long iron for this one. And I like the NMT. I was uh, using this method quite a bit in my early testing on this one. Just over four backspin in tailwind, obviously you'll need a little bit less, kind of between three and four, maybe down to 2.8 if you've got headwind angle. You're going to have winds between three and five miles per hour here. For reference, this uh, shot in the video was played mid plus 20, pulling over the bullseye. But don't forget, for detailed text guides for the golden shot, go and check out Tommy's uh, great work there. He'll be dialing in all the wind angles for you, so you'll be able to do really well. But that one dropping very nicely at the pin. The hard one does exactly what it says on the tin. It is very hard indeed. Once again, you're going to be playing with the golden long iron. I've been uh, favouring a bit of left spin here with my test shots. Being on one bar, a left spin, white ring touching the rough. You will need top spin in all wind angles here. You're going to get wind between five and eight miles per hour. And very similar to the tournament, it's quite difficult to get a consistent point here. And you've got a load of downhill elevation as well so it's going to be you know here i went with i think 1.9 top spin you can obviously need uh, two and a half maybe even more than that in headwind angle make sure you get down onto the green very tough one that one for the hard golden shot this coming sunday that is the 7th of may 8 p.m uk time will be the season 60 finale stream i'll be joined uh, by golf clash tommy once again we'll be discussing all the things golf clash related chance for you to give your feedback as usual and some previews coming of what is coming up in season 61 as well so plenty on the agenda for that one couldn't do one last time but we're back here for the season 60 finale so i'll see you all on sunday evening for that one but before we go on to the ball reveal, there will be a bonus live stream for Patreon and channel members only here on YouTube. So don't forget to join us for that one. That will be straight after the public uh, party stream, the season finale stream Q&A, because I get about a thousand plus messages in those live streams and I can't respond to all the questions live. So that would be a great chance. Send in a question if you're a channel member or a Patreon member. I will answer that in the bonus live stream and also give you a quick reveal and update on what I'm doing in the music business as well. Ball reveal time now and the billiards bundle is now on sale for two days only this one and you will be getting the opportunity to buy the billiards ball of course it's the world snooker finals today uh, power four backspin boost four side spin five wind resistance three so interesting combination there obviously backspin Never really used that much, but you may well need it, especially if you've got lower level clubs. And we're going to take a look at that ball in action right now. So you can have a look at it. I've headed over to Quail's, uh, Quail Hollow. Of course, we've got the Wells Fargo coming up. Plus two needle stability there. If that is kind of a deciding factor for you, then that's what you will be contending with. So nothing too bad there. Uh, but if you fancy it, of course, with a bit of backspin, can be useful on quite a few tricky par threes in the game. So you've got plenty of backspin boost available if you want it. Now, whilst we're on the subject of the Wells Fargo, don't forget if you're playing expert with the strong wind modifier, 
there will be content to help you on the channel for qualifying round on Thursday morning and final round, which is, of course, Saturday morning. So let me know what you think of that one. Are you going to be buying any of the billiards uh, ball as part of the billiards bundle live now in the game? Thank you very much for watching this quick update video here on the channel. Hope you found it useful and interesting. Don't forget, if you are a Patreon member, the third episode of our Club Guide series that will be dealing with Long Irons. That will be out in a couple of days' time. Plenty of other perks there. And if you want to support this free channel, then you can do so. Head over to patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Good luck in your Golf Clash games. Bye for now.